welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here thank you so much for clicking on today's video today i am bringing you guys a holiday santorini lookbook i recently took the trip of a lifetime to santorini i got back like three or four days ago now and honestly absolutely fell in love with the place i think it's honestly my number one place i've ever been to in my life so i'm going to be recapping some of my favorite outfits that i wore on my trip all links will be in the description box and i hope it'll be quite informative and helpful if you guys are taking a trip to santorini or mykonos or any kind of greek island coming up this summer i tried to pick some like more classic outfits so hopefully they will stand the test of time i'm hoping this video won't just be like a 2022 thing hopefully it will stay on youtube and it will be referred back to for many years to come um i feel like there's certain things that i learned about what to wear when i was there things i might not have packed again things i would have packed again essentials in my wardrobe and stuff like that so i thought i would recap everything for you guys in this video i went to santorini for i think it was it ended up being six days seven nights or the first night we just kind of got there and ate and went to sleep so i'm going to recap my six favorite outfits from the trip so guys the first outfit i'm going to discuss is probably my favorite look from the whole trip which was my lime green ASOS dress. You guys went crazy for this dress when I posted it and it just was the perfect moment. I purchased this dress thinking it was a very dressy dress, like as if it was for like prom or weddings or etc but i actually think it worked really well in Santorini. It's this gorgeous lime color, it's like this silky like smooth material but it's actually not satin it's more of like a stretchy material which was actually super comfortable but gave that still like expensive satiny look which is obviously very like santorini vibes I wore this with my zara slip-on um jeweled sandals which were honestly my best purchase of the whole holiday i think if you're going to santorini or mykonos you need to wear flats um which obviously is kind of hard like you want to dress up you want to wear like the kind of heel dressy vibe obviously with that dress you'd think you'd wear heels but i actually purchased these from zara and they were a flat like still jeweled shoe and i think they still look really dressy but was so much more comfortable and easy to wear than a pair of heels i also paired this dress with a poochie bag which i got vintage this was from jean vintage i'll link them down below if you guys are interested in that i just thought it was a really nice pop of color that just kind of added a little bit of pattern to the outfit i actually ended up wearing this dress to fira to a bar called v lounge and then we had dinner at this really nice italian restaurant um and i found that it was just like the perfect dress for that setting definitely fit the surroundings and i just felt super comfortable in it and would definitely bring sort of like a maxi dress there again so next up is an outfit which i feel like is very classic santorini this is a cute little kind of white co but it wasn't actually purchased as a co i just kind of paired it together the skirt is actually from Zara. It's this gorgeous kind of like cheesecloth material skirt. Very boho, very like Greek vibes, which I absolutely love. Um, I'll link it down below because they do still sell it. I bought this recently. This again, is such a timeless skirt. You can actually pair it with so many different things. I did pair it with so many different things on holiday. Pair it with other little bralette tops, bikini tops, whatever you want really. Um, the length is perfect on me. I'm five foot 10, so obviously quite tall and it still wasn't too short. Quality and everything was really lovely on this. Then to pair it with the skirt, I actually got this little top gifted, which was from a shop called Shop All My Love. Um, really kindly sent me this little top and it's actually a great addition to my wardrobe. I love the way it paired with the skirt. I feel like it was very like, kind of like boho hippie vibes but i could even just wear that little top with like a pair of jeans or denim shorts or whatever you want really i just feel like a nice cami top in santorini could work really really well this was an outfit which i wore i got these pictures in the kitchen just to be like very pinterest vibes but i would wear this to like shopping um going to like pop to the shops to grab some snacks for the room or even just to, like shop around in the town could even wear this in the evening pop it on with the same pair of zara shoes that i just showed you guys and wear it a little bit more dressy with maybe some like diamond earrings something like that or could super cash it down with like a pair of trainers like a little throw over kind of cardigan so i feel like a skirt and top is a really great option to take to santorini especially for the daytime you can mix and match it you can dress it up dress it down and i do feel like when you're there you are just going to want to throw on some really like pretty girly floaty outfits because i'm personally not always i don't always dress like that at home i'm quite like cool kind of street vibes but as soon as you get there you are just going to want to wear flowy floaty boho vibes and that's all that the shops are there like all the shops sell that kind of clothing as well so you'll fit right in if you bring an outfit like this so let's switch up a bit i'm going to show you guys one of the outfits that i wore to the beach um this was probably my favorite beach outfit that i wore very santorini vibes again 
This little white bikini is actually from Primark, believe it or not. It's actually a toweling bikini, which I think is really different and is also just a little bit more luxe. You could even wear the bikini top out, not as a bikini top, just like a bralette with a blazer or whatever you want to wear it as because it's just like that different material. But yeah, this is the most flattering cut bikini. It's like a triangle top with some high cut bottoms, which for me personally, I just think is the most flattering on my body type. Love the white look with a tan, especially you guys know I've got a bit of a tan, so that was definitely a win. Then my shirt that I paired over the top is also from Primark. This is a blue and white pinstripe shirt, which I think is just a staple that everyone needs in their summer wardrobe. The amount of times I've worn that shirt is actually a joke. And obviously if you take that shirt with you, you could even style that with like the little white cami top, which I showed you guys from the previous outfit. With like the skirt, you could literally wear that over the same outfit, which I just showed you. So definitely a good layering piece. The belly chain that I've got on is from a small Instagram boutique called Libra de Luna. I'll link it down below. Um, I literally wear that every single holiday. It's like these little beads that just go around your stomach and they're really, really comfortable because they're like stretchy. Then my hat, again, is also from Primark. I put the whole outfit's from Primark. Um, I showed this recently on one of my vlogs. I purchased it literally, like, last week. Um, but it's a really nice bucket hat. It's got, like, a lace detail to it. I think if you're going to go Santorini, Greece, wherever you're going, you probably need a bucket hat because, honestly, my scalp got a little bit burnt. Um, I should have really been wearing this a lot more than I did. And towards the end, I did wear it a lot. But I think a bucket hat is a really nice way to stay protected but also look really cool and really chic and i love this one because it's like lace and kind of broidery anglaise not the word um it just fits the kind of greek vibe a little bit more and looks a little bit more pretty vibes rather than like cool street style vibes next i'm going to show you guys another gorgeous evening outfit that i wore this one is actually from princess polly showed it on a recent haul of mine which i'll link down below if you guys are interested but this is like a really stunning olive two-piece which is a little bit more boho vibes again um a little bit more kind of laid back from the green dress which i showed you guys previously this i wore to an area called amudi bay in santorini which was honestly one of my favorite nights that we had there it's like this little like fishing port and it's got stunning restaurants and the most amazing sunset view so i just felt like this cold was perfect for that setting as you guys can see from the picture i shot it in this really cute like rustic greek staircase and just the whole vibe of it was just amazing um so yeah this is like a super floaty like co-ord it has a really nice like long skirt which doesn't cling to you at all it feels very very soft and very like easy flowy but then it's still got a little slit in it so it feels a little bit more kind of sexy and evening vibes than just like a long plain maxi skirt and i also like the fact that it pairs with more of a boob tube top i'm a little bit more of like a crop top and skirt kind of gal obviously you could wear it with a longer top if you prefer but for me personally, if I'm wearing a maxi skirt, I would like to quite wear a cropped top. So for me, this was like the perfect kind of fit. I paired this again with my Zara sandals, which I wore the whole trip. And also with my Balenciaga Looker Gold bag in gold, just because I feel like it's such a good evening bag. But it still fits a lot in it. Like I can fit my camera, my light for pictures, my charger, lipsticks, wallet, you name it. It's just very, very good. Um, and yeah, this was one of my favourite evening outfits. A little bit more casual. Could dress it down in the day, could dress it up at night. Another kind of day slash night outfit, probably more night outfit, but you could wear it in the day, is this orange number. This looks like it should be a co but it's actually not. I feel like you're getting the vibe from this lookbook that I wear and lots of co -ords. And honestly, on holiday, I feel like it is just the best thing to wear because you basically get so many outfits in one. Mix and match the top, mix and match the bottom. It's just really, really easy. So this outfit consisted of an orange skirt, which I purchased from Boohoo. I wore it recently in Turkey as well. I just found the colour and the fit and the fabric and everything is just really, really nice. It's super, like, slinky, elasticated, so it's very comfortable. And the orange, vibrant colour looks amazing with the tan. Then, to pair with the skirt, I picked up this Zara top, which is very floaty and flowy again. Honestly, take a shot every time I say floaty, flowy, boho. This orange top, which is kind of like a bardo, fishtail kind of vibe top. Um, I wear it a lot in the UK, but I just thought it paired really nicely with the orange skirt. I don't actually have any shoes with it on in the picture, but I basically wore it with my same Zara jeweled shoes that I wear with every single outfit. And I just thought it was a really nice kind of different vibe. Also really good because if you've got kind of a chillier evening, the top is long sleeve, so it's not so exposed. You don't need a jacket, but it still looks really, really cute. Um, I also wore this skirt on another evening with a stripy H&M top, which I'll link down below as well. And that was a bit more of like a casual vibe. But yeah, excellent skirt to mix and match with, even to wear with like your bikini as well. is a really great way to wear it. The bag I wore with this, again, was my Poochie bag. I feel like you probably need to take like three bags with you on holiday. You need to take like two 
evening bags, maybe like two different vibes, and then one beach bag. And that's all I did, and honestly, like, that was more than enough. So guys, I'm down to my last outfit, which is probably one of my favourites. Probably, I think it was your favourite on Instagram, like you guys' favourite. It is a Nadine Marabi blue dress. The Dean Morabi is absolutely amazing. They sell the most incredible dresses. So like wedding dresses, bridesmaids dresses. And they so kindly sent me some dresses for my trip. This being one of them. This is like a stunning blue sequined kind of kind of midi dress not maxi it kind of hits at the knee and it has a really nice fur trimming along the bottom in this lovely blue color this is an absolutely gorgeous piece i feel like if you want to invest in a really nice quality good dress honestly look to nadine morabi if you haven't already because their dresses are second to none like the best that i've ever tried this one was again one of my favorites i actually shot this like just on the beach but obviously it was an evening outfit again can just wear it with my zara jeweled shoes i feel like this is just a promo for these shoes because they just go with absolutely everything um and it just was very out there obviously this is quite bougie if you guys are going to somewhere that's a bit more kind of luxe or maybe if you've got like a really special date or maybe if you're like on a hen deal or an engagement or something like that but like this is the perfect dress to wear because it is just so well but i do love the fact that it's blue it kind of matches the santorini vibes um but it's still kind of cool with the fur along the bottom like the feathers it kind of gives more of a cool girl vibe but then the jeweled um finish the dress and the sequins are very luxe and very glam I think I just have one dress that was a little bit more out there that I could wear for a special evening. So guys, that is going to conclude my Santorini lookbook slash what I wore in Santorini video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Hopefully if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's given you a little insight into my wardrobe or if you're going on an upcoming trip to Santorini or Greece, hopefully it's giving you some outfit inspo. Like I said, I will leave everything linked down below if you guys want to shop anything for yourself. If you guys did enjoy this video, it would mean the world to me if you could go and hit that subscribe button, like the video, check me out on Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff. I post so much fashion over on there and I do have some more trips coming up which i'm very excited about yeah thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you guys very soon in my next video bye guys